Pete Thompson backstage at uh, Kendall Carling with a fantastic Tom Russell from Editors. How are you doing, guys? Yeah, very well, thank you. You're, right. You're looking well. You're looking non-muddy. There's not, a, there's not a splash on you. We haven't been out front. We've just been, uh, you know, just off the bus. Oh, so. right, okay. You're yeah. fresh off the bus. You're yeah. feeling okay. Yeah. How's the porter cabin? How's it sort of stacking up to the rest of them you've had this? Uh, We've got a Yorkie bars. <laughs> Yorkie, okay. Uh, inflatable sofa <laughs> and about four square foot. Okay, good. Yeah. So 12 years in, that's what a rider looks like <laughs> for uh, Yeah, yeah. It's all good. It's yeah. all good. It, nice to get out of the studio, though. You guys have been in for a little while, haven't you? Yeah, yeah we yeah. have done. Yeah, yeah. Mm. We've, we've been out this summer across Europe doing festivals. So. Yeah. Yeah, and the yeah, album's coming along nicely. Yeah. Uh, is it finished? Is it mastered? Is it kind of... Some songs are mixed. Okay. Uh, we have some more to do. Um, we've, we've, we've been juggling, basically. Okay. Over, like, like Russ. Yeah. Uh, I think we'll... we'll finish it in September. That's the right, plan. Okay. Yeah. Well, so, do, do, when you when you play like the new songs live, do you kind of go, "Oh, this might sound a little bit better" when you're in the middle yeah, of a you do, performance? You, yeah, you, it does affect the way that. Yeah. So we we're playing three songs and then we'll go back to finish them, and certainly it will affect the way that we do that. Uh, yeah. Where else did you uh, kind of re record the album? Because I know you, you did Nashville two albums ago, I think. It yeah, was. that was right. a while ago. We spent a lot of time in Oxford, didn't we? Yeah. This one? Uh, we had an outbuilding on a farm in um, in, in Oxfordshire, mm -hmm. and uh, we spent a lot of time rehearsing there, and you know. Just you know, being a band, we're going to put it all together with a guy called Leo Abrahams. Yeah, okay. Um, uh, most probably in London, which will be in September. Okay. I mean, uh, it, is it uh, Rahi, the um, the photographer guy? He's yeah. He's, he's taking some beautiful photographs of you guys. He's not bad. Yeah, he's he's quite a character. Yeah, it's quite <laughs> nice to find someone who, I don't know, has really added to what we are. Do you know what I mean? Like taking the visual aspect and and taking it further than it would have gone. So, and he's a wonderful person, yeah. I, I read once that you never wanted to be a front man and you never really felt like a front man. Do you feel like a front man right now? <laughs> yeah, get yeah, closer than I've been. You, you do, you know, you learn, you know, and you get more, certainly, personally, more comfortable in that kind of setting of those big stages and, and um, you don't arrive, if you arrive fully formed, like, da-da, this yeah. is how I'm going to be yeah. in, no Whatever you just, I don't. Well, I also don't think it's believable. Is there anybody uh, you're going to be sticking around to go and watch? Because obviously we've got Brian Wilson on yeah, today. Yeah, well, that's pretty special. Yeah. It's pretty. Um, you don't yeah. get many chances to see Brian Wilson, do yeah, you? Yeah, we'll, we'll go and watch Brian Wilson. Then we'll, uh, you know, have a wander around, see what the festival's like. Yeah. yeah. La was it last year we toured with the Mannix? Was yeah, it we toured with the Mannix. So we did a few year. shows yeah. them on their UK run. So yeah. Are they a little bit of a blueprint for a band who's been going for a, 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 obviously longer than you guys? Yeah, a lot of respect for them. You know, they've done their thing. Mm -hmm. You know, and. Uh, I, I, I admire all those bands with longevity. Do you yeah. know what I mean? People sniff at it, but it's because they're, they're better than most other bands. Do you know what I mean? That's why they're still here. And they're still finding new ways to express themselves. And yeah, there was, I mean, I love, oh yeah, I love the band here. Yeah. yeah, I was just reading about the Manics, they having to move their um, faster recording studios from, from Wales to, to, to somewhere else. Do you have like an emotional kind of like connection to James to was talking about that. I think, got, yeah. is it, isn't it, is it, it's not the BBC buying up their, oh, it's yeah. something to do with where they, their studio's always yeah, been. Yeah, in I, th yeah. I, think, I think it's something to do with some kind of, they're going to turn everything into flats. Yeah, 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 exactly. Oh, yeah. Which, as, the, as you can imagine, a very yeah. left wing band like the yeah, 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 yeah. It's an allegory for modern Britain. I think. Yeah, they'll get a few records out of that, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You stole our studio. <laughs> you stole yeah. our studio, you pigs. Yeah. Uh, guys, thank you so much for joining <laughs> us. We'll, uh, we'll know that to speak again uh, when the album comes out, and uh, we're really looking forward to the set. Cheers, nice to meet you. Cheers, Cheers man. Thank you. <laughs>